too late now, you've gone too far. You can't go, there's no going back. Good morning, here we are on our land in Portugal and um, we've been here a few days now but what we thought we'd do is give you um, a van tour of our van that we used to get us over here um, onto our land. Uh, so Elaine's going to give you a, a show through our van. Here we go. Hello. Hiya. So, just a little quick guide through what you've built in the van then, yep. Elaine. So, for people who've watched the previous vlogs, um, this is it all finished. So, pretty much all it's finished. It's been really comfy. Good drive down, uh, even though that was like five, six days ago. Yeah. About five, six days. Uh -huh. um, but it's been super comfy, nice and easy to put down and make into a bed. And really comfy for when we've stopped for a break or just sitting on an evening. Mm -hmm. um, we'll do a quick thing at the end of when the bed's... So I'll tell you what I'll do because it's a little bit dark on the screen so I'll come around that side and see if there's any more light coming in that yeah. way. Yeah, that seems a little bit more light from this side. Yeah, yeah much better. Okay, so... It's been really comfy. Um, the clothes section, the little tidy section has worked really well, just keeping clothes to a minimum and keeping them out of the way. Got some little baskets to keep all our like socks and pants and your hairbrush, things that would normally roll around. We've added a few bits and bobs of decoration, really that we've stolen out of our first van <laughs> and we're going to show you that one as well today. Um, other things that have worked well so far, the flooring, it's been really comfy and easy, it's mm. nice to be able to just kneel down because um, it's quite spongy and it's been warm because it was really cold when we were driving down and very very wet. We went through a lot of heavy rain. Um, Darren's electrics have all worked excellently well. <laughs> we'll give you a quick tour. Oh yeah, there you go. of the light. lights. That work. One light there. Oh, that makes a bit of difference. We'll leave the lights on. Yeah. They look nice. Um, fridge is currently on. So our kitchen section. A nice jazzy curtain. Ah. Just covering everything up. So we've got our little portable fridge which has been spot on um, <clears throat> got a couple of bungees around just to keep everything in place um, the water container just sits in there when we're driving mm -hmm. and then the shelf under there has just got things like the washing up bowl, my mixing bowl, chopping board just every normal dear things yeah. and our food cupboard still has some food in, even though we've eaten really well. Anyone that follows us on Insta will have seen <laughs> all of Darren's pictures of every meal I've made him. Yep, definitely. Um, and they've been amazing. So check out the pictures. Yep. <laughs> uh, nothing's joggled around, nothing's spilt over. No. Nope. the 15, 1600 miles that we did. Mm. We had one accident. No, not an accident. Well, we did. Oh, the accident. The cup. <laughs> right. A of oh, yeah. Here. Yeah, yeah, the cup. And we went into a car park yeah. when we went to do some shopping in Castella Branco and lost one cup that smashed on the workbench yeah. um, by going over the speed bump in the yeah. car park. Not that Darren was driving fast. It was just a very aggressive speed bump. It was. Um, so we drove 1,500 miles, yeah. no problem whatsoever, and then drove 20 minutes in, well, not even that, 15 minutes in the Castello Branco, smash. Yeah. Brilliant. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's good. So, um, little cooker, little cooker yeah, with the camping well. gas. Um, with the camping gas. Yeah, seems to be doing a treat. Yeah. For the cost of it, that was uh, it's kind of a good little cooker, that, isn't it? Yeah. Cheap. 
Um, it's not attached, no. as we've said before, because when we're travelling, we just bring it yeah, round. We bring... bought extra piping so that it's not um, tight or anything. Yeah, so we can and put it down it on, the on the floor there. Really safely when we travel. Or we can go outside there. Or we can pop it onto our shelf. Do you want to go around and have a look at that? Yeah, I'll go around and have a look at the shelf, which we've kind of used for washing up really more than anything isn't it yeah. and washing the clothes and things this little area just here has come out really nice yep These handy the steps out of our first van mm -hmm. so that was a lovely um easy thing when we got here hmm? this is max's little section mm -hmm. and the pull out bench has been really great yeah um washing washing up just sitting on the step and chopping up veggies for the tea oh and there's max and there's max come to see what are you talking about me for hiya max say hello max don't go on the table <laughs> it's strong enough it is but uh it but wouldn't don't. work very well if it on the <laughs> video on, good lad well done max good boy just wanted to come and say hello didn't you yeah good job lovely so that's about that's about it. About it, really. Very simple. Veg and fruit. Straightforward. Um, full when we left and have been refilled. Um, Darren screwed in the little unit on with a couple of screws on the bench. Yeah. And that's got herbs and spices. It's got the cutlery so it doesn't roll around. Um, tea bags. Yeah, tea bags and. Stuff just like useful things and then up top here all our beddings up there we've got um, quilt extra blankets but we've certainly not needed any extra blankets and definitely not since we've been here although it is still chilly on a night when the sun goes down isn't yeah it? still quite chilly um, but able to sit out we sat out until late last night and had a yeah um, a coffee and flapjack while we had a yeah. little fire Perfect. So that's about it, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you think of anything else? Max has been really comfy. He's been an absolute treasure. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been good, hasn't he? He's got very comfy in the oh yeah, he's been in sleep the cab. He's sleeping in the cab. So we brought his bed from home, and mm -hmm. he's just made himself comfy there. Yes, yeah, he's just made himself comfy. He goes right on cue. Good lad. Oh, hey, he just shows you. There you go. That's where Max sleeps on a <laughs> night time. He's been quite happy sleeping in there. He's felt very happy and comfortable. Haven't you, Max? Yeah. Yes. There you go. See. Good lad. So, so is that about it? Yeah, for this one. Lovely. So, um, yep. Yeah, thanks very much for joining us on this little van tour of our van on our land in Portugal and we'll catch up with you on the next one. Bye. Bye.